G'day guys and welcome to another episode of this Mitchell Stark career mode in Dom Murray Cricket 17 and as you can see there South Africa currently on 3 for 71 travelling pretty well um, Mitchell Stark currently has one wicket for 11 runs so uh, pretty happy with that so far but hopefully we can increase on it and hopefully get geez four wickets maybe five maybe six that'd be just brilliant um, but yeah there's not much else to say in this one so we might as well jump into it and hopefully grab a few more wickets Alright, so we've currently got Temba Bavuma on strike, bit of a tongue twitcher there, and at the other end, Hashim Amla is currently on 21, um, so it would be nice to get both of these out relatively quickly. Good uh, good ball to start off, 140 clicks, but it just dug into the pitch, that's the last uh, ball of the over as well, but it's, uh, yeah, just, look at that, bounced about, jeez, not even, maybe half a metre off the ground, so... Uh, don't want any more of those ones, but uh, Gaz comes on. Hopefully he can grab a few wickets. It's, all, it's always weird seeing him like come out to bowl, because I think it's me. Cause I've been doing the bloody Nathan Line career mode for so long. Um, I'm just used to seeing that now, but we'll start off with a leg cutter. See how he goes. Oh, it's a pretty good shot from Bavuma. Might get to the fence. It's rolling slowly. The fieldman should get out to it, and it'll just be two. Oh, he just flicked that one away. You've got a single, but awfully close to leg stump, that one. If he had a miss it, that was easily smashing into a leg stump. Oh, jeez, that's a good shot from Amla. Might get to the fence, though. They'll get two. Um, but, yeah, stood, stayed in the air, that one. Took a while to actually hit the ground, so it would be good if you had someone at square leg, maybe. Might have got a catch on that. Um, but South Africa, 306 off 27 overs. Um, they're travelling... A lot better than they were. That's a beautiful delivery, right on the uh, right on the spot. Oh, they've gone for a single. Oh no, they haven't. I thought they did. I saw that little um, animation come up when they went to run, but they quickly went back to their uh, their spots. Amline nearly with his 50, got six runs to get until his half century. Hopefully, we can get him out before then. That'd be great. Um, but yeah, 27 overs gone. What are we currently? One for 19 off six overs. So um. I hate it when you, you sort of have like the, those overs where nothing happens, like it's just a few singles. It really annoys me, but um, I guess you can't have a wicket in every over. It's a nice fielding there. That is the over, just three off it, and that's one of those overs there. A little boring, almost a run out, but um, yeah, you definitely want some action in each of the overs. Look at Amal, I think he went, I think Bavuma's still in there with like 80 or something. Yeah, 80 exactly. Quinton de Kock is in with 26, and Amla went out with 51. So a lot has definitely happened since our last spell. Uh, the total now is 5 for 212, if we can spit it out. Oh, catch him. Very thick edge. And I think that's... Oh, jeez, nearly went for a run there. Pretty sure that's point, isn't it? I think it's point. We'll have a look. Uh, which one is it? I think it... Yeah, point. It's hard to tell. There's so many fielders there, but I'm pretty sure that position is point. Um, but you just fell short. It was a very thick edge. It was very square off the bat. Oh, it's a good delivery. Yorked him up well. Usually the Yorkers, like, doesn't matter how you bowl, it usually ends up as a full toss. It's really annoying, but that was definitely on the spot there. Another beautiful delivery to end the over, and it's just two off that one, so it's better than the last over at least. Um, still, you want a, a wicket uh, very soon because they're starting to get a bit of a wriggle on, although they've lost two other wickets, so it's not too bad. Catch him! Yes! Oh, I nearly forgot to appeal then, but uh, we get another wicket. Quinton de Kock is gone. That's our second wicket now. And uh, if I didn't appeal then, I reckon that would have stayed not out because uh, it, uh, nothing happened until I pressed the button. So we've got to be lucky there. Um, I'd rather that be Temba Bavuma, but a uh, very thick edge, so you wouldn't think it would review it. And no, nah, he's gone. See you later. Great catch from Peter Neville. Pretty easy catch, you could say. But uh, Vernon Philan out of the crease now. We'll start off with an outswinger. Might grab another edge. That'd be brilliant. Oh, catch. Oh, just fallen short. One bounce. Imagine that. Could have been on a hat-trick. Vernon Philan had gone for a golden duck. That would have been uh, just great. But, uh, yeah, it didn't happen. That's a good shot from Vernon there. Nice uh, defensive shot. Oh, how is that? It's hit him on the pad. On the fall. Is it gone? It looked pretty close. No, he hasn't called that one. Um, we've only got one challenge, and the common isn't, isn't that high, but uh, we'll definitely check it out in the menus, because it just looked close, but we'll have a look now. Here we go, let's have a look, he's probably down leg, oh yeah, impact in line, and yeah, way down leg that one, luckily we didn't review it, because that would have been a horrible review, um, but yeah, we'll keep going. 
We're on track for a wicket made. We've got one delivery left. Hopefully we can grab it. Um, that'll be a great way to uh, get the confidence up and hopefully grab a few more wickets. Oh, it's a good shot, but it is a, a dot, and it is a wicket maiden, so it's a great over, and that is the 50th over, actually, so uh, if it was an ODI match, it'd be a great way to end the match, but uh, yeah, Philander still on zero, I'd presume he'd be uh, off the mark now, just one run off six for Philander, on strike now, can we get him for one, that'd be just brilliant. Oh, jeez. Definitely hasn't carried. It's bounced like three times before it's got to the keeper, but uh, definitely edge of that one for Lander. Um, I'm going to try and get a few more Yorkers in there because they look, look like they're working a fair bit. They can't seem to hit them very well. <laughs> it's just going under the bat. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to keep bowling it. Hopefully we can get Temba Bavuma with one. He's in the 90s right now, going for his 100, and he's been in a bit of form, Bavuma, in these last few matches. He's bloody towed that one. He's done pretty well, though. Will it get to the fence? Look like it will. Yes, it will. So that's probably our first boundary in that long. Um, but yeah, Philander gets uh, not off the mark, but uh, that's his first boundary. Um, so two deliveries left in this one. We'll go with another York. I just, I just, I like doing them. I don't know why. And he's gone the other side now. Definitely not a catch that one. But uh, one delivery left. Let's hope we can just keep it to four in this over because that's a pretty reasonable over. And yes, it's just four in this one, so I'm de we'll definitely take that. We're currently two for 25. Um, we're, we're the best at the bowls at the moment. Have a look at Brad Hogg, one for 82. A bit expensive for him, um, so hopefully he can patch that up a little bit in the next few overs to come. But uh, yeah, this will be the last over of the episode. Sorry it's a bit short this episode, guys. Um, I've got to record a lot more videos today, so under the pump a little bit. That's another good delivery to Bavuma. And oh, imagine if we can get him out in the 90s. That'd be just brilliant. Obviously not for him, but uh, if we can get him out in the 90s, that'd be great. But uh, 2 for 25, as I said, of 10 overs. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Another great one there. Oh, jeez. I thought that was about to cannon it off stump. Or middle stump, sorry, because that was looking so good. We'll do it once more. Two deliveries left in this one, but that, oh, that was looking so good. If I only hit the stumps... That's a good shot from Bavuma. Won't get to the fence. It shouldn't do. It'll just be a single. And there is one delivery left in this, in this episode, I should say. And we've got Philander on strike. And it is a dot, I'm pretty sure. It took more to get to that one. But, uh, yeah, just one off that over. And that's how we'll end it there. We'll pause it. And, uh, yeah, it's been a pretty reasonable uh, episode. Just the one wicket, but we've travelled pretty well. Haven't considered too many runs, so... Uh, as a whole, I'm pretty happy. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this one, guys, make sure to give it a like and also subscribe for future content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.